Hey, Ava, it's me. You are not here to get to know about my art practice. You are here to get to know about me. One of the significant features of my art practice is that this is part of my personality. I shouldn't have to make something to call it art. When someone treats me badly or break my heart, I take revenge. And that's why people nicknamed me the camel. I'm kind and supportive, but if somebody crosses me, I will get back to them through my art and by telling stories, so it will be a lesson for everybody else. For the first time when I came to the US, everything was perfect, just like high school musical. New people, new things, everything, everything. But uh, little by little, I got closer to the real meaning of life. I was the only international student among my cohort and it was so difficult for me to communicate with them. They used to use some slangs and idioms that I had never heard before. I was not even able to easily communicate with my own teachers. I didn't have any knowledge about virtual platforms to be able to communicate and get help. For example, sending emails here is one of the routines and I didn't even know this basic thing. I have faced with many challenges in terms of job opportunities. For example, I didn't know that I am able to work off campus in the US during my study. Or I didn't even know that it's better to apply for an internship during your graduate studies to be able to find a job which can sponsor your visa status after your graduation. How can there be so much that you don't know? You don't know. I have felt racism in different cases. First, uh, they directly show you that they hate you because of your Middle Eastern background. Second, uh, they are so kind with you in person. But in reality, they don't support your art. They don't support you. And sometimes it's not only about racism. It is also about jealousism, being jealous. During this journey, I have lost many friends, which made me to lose many connections. People who broke my heart, people who didn't support me to grow, or many peelators who just used my feelings as a tool to show off with my talents and my skills. I learned I have to stay strong, sometimes go with the flow and get help from people who truly love me and believe in God. However, I have to say thanks to them because they are the reason that I'm here right now, especially because the thing that strongly motivates me to make art is turning off this group of people in my life. Hi, I'm Nicole Young. I'm a Chicago-based artist. I'm originally from New York and I'm Chinese-American. Ava and I met um, through a mutual exhibition kind of situation where we both had work up in the same space and we were both really drawn to each other just as like a whole package like I I know we wanted to spend time together because we loved how we both dressed how we present ourselves along with our work and like when we met everything just kind of clicked and I could really see how Ava's practice really it's just a part of her and a part of a lot of what she stands for and what I also stand for. Ava and I, I think, were really able to connect over our experience as like, two people of color in America, just considering how um, American society, capital society, the different ideals 
um, especially those like pushed onto younger people really aren't meant to promote our success and our just general comfort here. And it's been really, really liberating to be able to bond with her over those, um, those kind of topics just because it's really hard to be vulnerable and open about that kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of ways that topics like that can be internalized very negatively or in like misconstrued in ways that aren't necessarily what we'd like to go towards. Like I know we, when we first met, we would talk a lot about how we didn't feel like we fit in and it wasn't necessarily because we, or, or it wasn't necessarily because I didn't feel grateful to be here because there are so many opportunities here. It's just that even as I am here and I've been born here, like I still don't feel like I belong here and I never have. And I think it's been really liberating to be able to bond with someone over that kind of experience here. As a... Chinese American person I think growing up I've really had to I've really been like indoctrinated into this culture where I've had to deny my Chineseness in order to fit in and feel like I belong here so I've lost a lot of connection to my culture which is very disheartening and I think I've made this shift in my mind to where if I can't have access to that side of myself and that side of my culture, I am, I'm going to take what I can and claim what I can. So my work, the art I make is very much centered around my emotional well-being and understanding my different experiences and traumas and working through them in this process where the final piece I make is this release of an experience that I am finally ready to move on from. In terms of my relationship with Ava and why I appreciate her so much, um, she really sees through all of this hypocrisy and all of this cruelty in people and how being really genuine in society today is taken as a, like, it's really taking advantage of and it's really seen as this vulnerability that can be exploited and used for someone's personal gain which is really really horrible but I think in meeting Ava it's been really reassuring to be able to talk to someone who recognizes it all and isn't afraid to be vocal about just how not okay that kind of treatment and behavior is and just kind of how there really is like there really are genuine people out there who want the best for others and that just gives me a lot of hope and it just really feels like when we spend time together I'm kind of being stitched back up and re-elevated to this place where I know um, you know, things are going to be okay and there's still good people out there. Hey, Ava, it's me. I just wanted to give you a call and tell you that I, I made a huge mistake. I'm so sorry. Let's have a cup of coffee. Communication is the key. Just hang out with people and hang out with people because you don't know who is who. Sometimes you can find success where you cannot even imagine. Based on my experiences, communication and vulnerability make you to become successful. These two factors have opened many doors for me exactly the time that I didn't expect. 
just like Cinderella when she met the fairy godmother. You know what is so funny? I talk about all those relationships and things that I have never had and I applied with them to come to the US and I was accepted. <laughs> Disney Princess.